Hey there everyone, this is Chris from the Tech Basement, once again in the basement. Today we're going to take a look at the Crosshair 6 Hero Motherboard by Asus, which is the AMD X70 chipset. Why we're looking at this is because the Zen 2 processor is going to be coming out soon, and I had a little difficulties with the BIOS. So, I'm going to show you what you need for that and what you should do in order to update this properly without any problems. Okay, now we're going to go over those things that you're going to need in order to update the BIOS. Uh, first of all, we're going to go over the steps. Uh, the first step is if your BIOS is not up to date, or if you're not sure it's up to date, first go to the website and see what the latest one is. It should be 7002. Now, if you have anything below the second one down, I'm not sure exactly which one that is, but if you have that one on your motherboard, by all means, go ahead and try the online uh, BIOS update uh, through the BIOS itself. That's what I usually do, but that didn't work out so well for me, and that's why I'm making this video. For those of you that do not have their BIOS up to date, uh, like maybe one or two before the 7002, you're going to want to do these steps. And this is why. I was about three BIOS behind. And what I did was, I said, uh, you know what? I checked it out. Uh, no big deal. I've done this before. The BIOS always updated without any problems. Well, I had some problems and what had happened is on the screen that you see the BIOS right now that screen came up with a bunch of artifacts a lot of pretty colors I tell you what great but that's not what we're looking for so I tried to flash back the BIOS a couple different times and uh, after getting it off of another computer well First of all, that USB drive kind of failed on me, so that was that was a big problem, and I didn't realize this af until after being on tech support with uh, ASUS for about an hour and a half, somewhere around there, maybe two, and we were having a heck of a time trying to get this resolved. So I did one last thing, and I checked out another USB that I had, and that was this one. This had the late, latest one I flashed to, and I do not know why it was on here, but it was. I put it in the back of the computer, did the process with that motherboard on the, uh, the uh, flashback, and it worked just fine. So I think I had a bad USB. That's what the problem was. But once I got it flashed back, got everything put back on there, what I did was I took two USBs because I was not going to be stuck in that boat again. So what I did was basically I just leapfrogged it is what I did. And that's how I got up to 7002. That worked for me. Uh, so if you're either having problems with it or want to avoid problems, just use the USB and do them one by one. Do not try to skip them. I believe that to be the problem. If you want to go ahead and try uh, going to the latest one with three others behind it until you get to yours, by all means, try by USB. Maybe it'll work a lot better. But it didn't work for me over the uh, internet option in the BIOS, which it has worked all the time for me. So, with that being said, let's take a look at the proof that I am up to uh, 7002 and my process did actually work.
there you go everyone that's the proof that I was actually able to get the BIOS out back on there as well as it being functional just seeing the BIOS up on the screen should have been enough for you but I went the extra mile there uh, so you guys tell me down in the comments below what you had to do in order to get this BIOS to work because I feel that I'm not the only one that may be having problems with upgrading the BIOS within the BIOS over the internet. So tell me what you think about this video. Tell me what you had to do to flash your BIOS and or take care of it if it went into that artifact state. And hit that subscribe button hit that notification button so that you will be notified next time I put one up. And this is Chris saying out.